I shouldn't be this excited, but I am. Norwich are in a horrendous run of form at the moment. And there's a possibility that we could have our relegation confirmed in our game against Aston Villa this weekend. Welcome back, everyone, uh, to our opposition preview this week. Now, you may notice that neither of us are opposing fans. Don't worry, we'll be getting to that shortly. Chris has had a fantastic conversation with Ty Bracey, an Aston Villa fan. Uh, that'll be coming up in a moment. But we're really excited to announce that we are partnered with a brand new uh, company, Betmate. Uh, they are a wonderful app. It is a fancy football type game. And you could be in with the chance of winning £50 this weekend in a free to enter game. Now, Chris, uh, we've entered our teams on Betmate. You pick seven players. We'll be showing you shortly. Uh, download the app. The link is in the description. Press join a league and the code will be in the description as well. As I say, free to enter. You pick seven players from this weekend's game. Aston Villa players, Norwich players, and then it's based on fantasy football type points. You get points for good things in the game. Goals, clean sheets, clearances, all of that stuff. Chris, you're excited. I know this much. Yeah, I am, mate. I am. And it's so much better than normal fantasy football. That's what I absolutely love about Betmate. And I'm delighted and very proud to be partnered with such a company. And it's it's, it's going to be really good fun. And, and I absolutely cannot wait to batter you, Jack Reed. Well, come on then. Let's get let's get started. Uh, we'll get your team up on screen because you're feeling confident this weekend. Talk me through your team here. Uh, these are the seven players you've gone for. You've got up until five to three, uh, oh, five to three or quarter to three on Saturday to enter your team. What's your thinking with this side? Well, first of all, it's worth um, making it clear, Jack, that you've got unlimited money to spend on Betmate in terms of your 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 money to spend on the actual fantasy football side of things, if that makes sense. So it's really important that you, because you can literally pick the best players. And for me, these are the players that will do the most damage to each other on Saturday, Aston Villa versus Norwich City. First of all, I love Timmy Krull. I just think Aston Villa have got too much going forwards, though, for us on Saturday, um, particularly in that midfield, which I'll get to in a minute. I think Martinez is one of the best keepers in the league. I genuinely believe that. So I think he's definitely a, a solid choice uh, as goalkeeper. Now, you do have to pick a certain amount of Norwich and Villa players. If not, the sceptic within, we probably would have picked all Aston Villa players, if I'm honest. <laughs> Um, but I do, I do think um, Dimi Giannoulis is has been um, has been very, very good since his return to the side. I think he'll definitely be a player that that will bomb up the pitch and, and and potentially get an assist or two, hopefully or two at the weekend. Matty Cash for Aston Villa, I think, has been brilliant. Really, really rate him as a player. And as much as it kills me to do so, moving into that midfield, Emi Buendia, uh, he's just a ridiculous player, and it would be absolutely typical. Typical luck if he scores against. Do you us. think he'll start then? Because he hasn't been starting too much, has he? Um, I I'm not sure if he will, right? But it, he'll. It, it's just classic, isn't it? You score against your former side, and he'll come off the bench and just sort of rub salt in the wounds. Um, I hope that doesn't happen, of course, but I think it's inevitable. Um, I think anyone that doesn't put put Coutinho in 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 their in their betmate fantasy team. This Saturday would be crazy. I think he's an absolutely ridiculous player, and I think he will. I, I think he. I think he is the man. To be honest with you, I don't really know how Norwich City are going to stop him. Of course, Timu Puki, albeit we've been struggling. I, I, I think that Timu's um, Timu's team at the end of the day, he can do damage to any team, any time. We. We, we've seen it time after time in his career, so I'm excited to put him in my side. Is this the same team in Pookie that you wanted dropped a couple of months ago? Oh, can you... That is... You need to stop that. That is literally not true. I never, ever... <laughs> said that. I literally never said that. There's the nibble. There we go. <laughs> anyway, and then on the other side, I've got Watkins. I really rate him, and I and I, and I think he's a, I think he's a top player. Okay, so that's the team um, we'll all be going up. To. It's a TNC league. So it's myself, Chris, against all of you that want to get involved. There's a £50 pot that Betmate have kindly put up. Basically, best team wins. Whoever has the most contributions in defensive and attacking uh, threats, you'll be fine. I've gone very different to Chris's side. I've gone symmetrical. Villa um, down the right. What Norris is down that? the left. What Martinez in goal. That? Feels like it will be probably a clean sheet uh hanley and tyrone mings now hang on hang on jack Reed. 
Tyrone Blooming Mings. Well, I've you... gone, I've gone, I've gone for your Emmy Buendia fact. It's typical no. that a former Ipswich man will score against them. What the hell? No, Jack, that is ridiculous, and that is that is sacrilege. I am so angry with you for putting Tyrone Mings in your team. What about Hanley? Well, normally you'd say you'll you'll never beat the Hanley, um, but with our defending at the moment, I can't see that being the case at the weekend. Right, Hanley's in there. He's going in there. Now, Dowell Dino is my captain because it's really interesting with Chris. He raves and raves and raves about players, but when it comes to crunch time, he bottles it. I'm not <laughs> like that. I'm not like that. I think Dowell Dino has been one of our best players in recent weeks. He's going in my side. Uh, next to Ramsey, who's been one of the, the one of the best young players in the Premier League this season, scored against us at yes, Carrow Road. I think he will have another good game this weekend. And then a front line, much like Chris, actually, Tamu Puki and Ollie Watkins, who I think uh, will be really influential going forwards. If you think you can beat us on Betmate, then join in. It's free to enter. You have to be 18 and over. And you must remember, gamble responsibly with anything you do. Only ever gamble with money you can afford to lose. But this pot is free this weekend. The link's in the description to download the app. The code is in the description to download the app. Best of luck. I'm going to be winning. So you're all going for second place. Chris will be last. Let me assure you of that. Yeah. Uh, and coming up, up right now it is the opposition preview. Enjoy. Thanks very much. Hello and welcome to this week's TNC Oppo preview. Last time out, I'm getting really bored of saying this, it was yet another loss. This time it was 3-0 at home to Newcastle United. Don't laugh, Ty. Up next, it's time to see whether we've got what it takes to be Aston Villa in their own backyard. And who better to give us all the Villa insight than a huge Villa fan, Ty Bracey of hashtag Villa. I've got the hashtag in there. Hashtag <laughs> Villa Spaces. And now and then the Villa view, and of course, no I think then. he'll love this, and of course, friend of regular contributor on Talk Norris City, Dan Bardell. Um, thank you, Ty, for chatting to us today. Um, You're very welcome. What's, mate, what's the mood like in, in, in the Villa world at the moment? We've had better days, I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, it's a bit of a cesspit at the minute. It's probably a nice way to, to put it. It's, it's a bit up and down. It's you know, Burnley win a few games in a row and all of a sudden we're fighting relegation. And I'll be honest, I've been confident in worse situations than this, mate. Uh, the mood isn't great. Confidence isn't high. I'd probably say within the club and, I'd, or, you know, on the pitch at least. Maybe in training, you know, we don't see what goes on there. But definitely on socials, it, it's not a great place to be. So I'm, I haven't really been very active. I just find it's easy to keep away uh, is, is in these times. Ty, is that because you've is it have you lost your last five in a row? Is Look, listen, I, I don't want to hear any of this from you, all right, Chrissy boy. <laughs> I end up in it, yeah. Only you would understand, you know, only you could yeah. empathize about losing five in a row in the league, <laughs> mate. So if if you want to give it the give it the big one, you carry on, mate. Go on, I'll let you have it this one because we could potentially relegate you on Saturday from Corinne, a little birdie told me. A little birdie told me. Uh, you will relegate us on Saturday. Um so there you go. Um, no, that's going to hurt. That's going to really hurt. That That's going to well, hurt know. me. I know. It's, like, it's going to hurt, obviously, you guys. And we'll go on to, on to Dean Smith in a minute. But it's just really weird for, for me because, obviously, I, I, last time I went to Villa Park, we won the title. And Mary Vrancic, who, of course, went on our podcast recently, scored such a great goal there. And it was such a great day. I don't remember much because I was incredibly under the influence with, with my great colleague, Jack Reeve. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a weird one because... How are you going to feel potentially relegating Villa fan for life and Villa boy Dean, Dean Smith? That's going to be a bit odd for you, isn't it? Well, luckily, I'm not going to be there. And I'm breaking a two-year alcohol ban um, this weekend. I've got a stag do, so I've uh, I've sold my right. ticket back to the club. So I'm not there this weekend. I mean, okay, I'm going yeah. to miss it. Um, but... Yeah, it's it's a soft spot for Norwich as you know has come because of the love for Dean Smith. There'll always be love there, and yeah, and, and for you, of course, mate. When you're not winding me up, <laughs> but yeah, it'll be it'll be. Uh, the thing is, with 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 Norwich, yeah, I hate to use the term, but you're a yo-yo club, aren't you? The the thing is, if you want to stay in the Premier League, and it's getting worse, the gap between you know, let's say the the top ten clubs to the probably say. 
you know, 13th downwards, there isn't, yeah. you know, that much difference really. And clubs are spending more and more and more. And that yo-yo might not get any better, you know, because it's just so much money being pumped into the Premier League. I mean, look how much money we've spent. And we're not doing great. But granted, we had to spend a lot. We lost a lot of players when we come back into the Prem. So we had to pretty much replace a full a full 11. And we, we didn't have any depth on, depth on the bench for at least a couple of seasons where you look at the bench and go, you know what, I'm happy with what we've got there, you know, as an impact sub. So it's one of those things. I mean, next year is going to be fun for you, your podcast. So because you're going to be talking about winning all the time, right? Pookie I, I, top goals, Pookie top goal scorer, forty goals. There you go. I'm, I'm calling it now. Clip this, clip this for next next <laughs> year. You're going to be this time next year. You're going to be talking about winning your next game and go back up to the prem. And Pookie's on thirty eight goals. I hope and pray. I hope and pray. And of course, away from Dean Smith now. Post the Dean Smith era at Villa, it's now the Stevie G show. Very much so. Has reality kicked in now around Stevie G, obviously having lost the last five games? Like, because of course you did have that new manager back. I, I, I was thinking, I was looking at you boys thinking, I tell you what, it's a hell of an outfit now and they're fighting for the gaffer and it's working, but it seems to be crumbling away a little bit. Or am I, am I not in the know here? No, I, I think you bang on, but I think it also depends on who you ask. Maybe if you asked, uh, Mr. Bardell, he'd probably give you a different answer to me. And maybe if you, you know, put a little tweet out, you'd get a, a variety of uh, reactions. But in my opinion, he's made it very clear he's got to make some changes in the summer. You know, we only see 90 minutes on the pitch and an occasional social media post, if it's even them posting them, you know, saying bad result on Saturday, we go again next week. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, uh, just the usual cliche crap. So it's one of those things where, I don't want to say it, but we've just got to have another summer of spending money. I, I think losing, it's Dino's squad. But again, I, there's the argument that a manager should be able to get the best out of the players he's got. I fully agree with that as well. I see both sides of that argument. But I also believe that losing Jack as well. I think if we didn't lose Jack, I think Dean would still be manager. And wow. replacing a £100 million player, does that happen in one season? I really don't think so. Uh, they said they got... Wendia, um, Danny Ings and Leon Bailey as the three people to replace the main attributes of Jack. And I don't think we've got that from those three players, those main attributes from Jack. Leon Bailey's hardly featured. Danny Ings, I'm not going to knock Danny Ings. I don't think that Danny Ings is the problem. I think that service has been the problem. Yeah, um, yeah exactly. And Wendy has just been playing second fiddle to Coutinho because it hasn't been working when they're playing together. I want to I want to talk about exactly those two players, Ty. Like, how, how did it feel? So, like for for me, I'm thinking right. Let's try and get in, in a Villa fan's shoes here. You've gone from being so close to getting relegated, like literally by like that exactly the skin of your teeth, and then all of a sudden the next the next season you're signing Coutinho. Like, mate, it's, what is that like? It's a crazy feeling. The only feeling that I can compare it to, apart from coming up back up to the Premier League, because that's in a league of its own, was beating Liverpool 7-2. That's the only time I've felt. Because coming back into the Premier League was emotion. That was different. It, but signing Coutinho and beating Liverpool 7-2 was a happiness scale that you probably will never experience in your football life, Mr Christopher. You know what I'm saying? You, you're probably that used to going up and down. They don't really bother you anymore if you go up or down. They so, did masterclass 7-2. That's all I'm going to say. Exactly. Um, I don't think it's either side. I think it's the Stevie G effect. I He's come because we've got Steven Gerrard in charge. There's nothing yeah. more to it. And, that, and let's see what real pulling power he's got in the summer. We are going to spend money in the summer, whether... We, 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 we think that's the right thing to do or not. He's going to spend some money. But our problem has been, since we've come back up, he's offloading players. We seem to have a problem. We got rid of Al Ghazi on loan to Everton. I don't even think he's played. If he has, he's probably played eight minutes. But as far as I'm aware, he ain't had a sniff at a team who, can't, who are looking like they're going down. I bet he wish he joined us now because he was rumoured to go to us. And away from Coutinho, we yeah. have to talk about Emmy, the, the magician, Norwich City fans are uh, still in love with him to this day but what well, i'm not sure i'm not sure where it's at with villa like it seems to have come in fits and starts like 
sometimes I see a highlight of Emmy for Villa and I think, oh my God, you're breaking my heart. And then one moment I hear loads of Villa fans saying, let's have a refund, Norwich. It's an absolute joke. You've 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 got too much money for him. So in your opinion, Ty, Emmy Buendia, talk to me. It is bang on. We just can't find a system where him and Coutinho work together. We've tried the two tens, but I don't think that them two working together is the problem. I think the problem is the players behind them. I think we've got some problems in the uh, the further back in the midfield that we've really got to sort out in the summer. A CDM has got to be the number one priority in the summer. Um, Gerard Perslow and uh, Johan Long, however you want to pronounce it, Lange, it depends what no. part of the, it depends how fancy you are, but we'll just go, you know, Johan. Um, they were spotted at a Marseille game, uh, apparently watching uh, Kamara. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, but CDM for me has to be, we're obviously not going to get a player quite like Declan Rice, but we need that calibre of player who's just a really solid S-house CDM. I yeah, won't yeah. say a swear word. You're but, definitely allowed to swear on this channel. I wouldn't. I wouldn't oh, I am. Yeah. All right. A, a, a shit house CDM. That's what we need, Chris. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry if your video gets monetized. I'll send you a few quid, but no we need a, we need a, a real quality a big, CDM. A big so house. I think Coutinho will end up signing permanently, assuming there's no issue with wages. I don't think the fee is going to be a problem. Mm. Um, I think we just need to fix what's behind it. I think that's where our problems start. So that great, amazing, lovely. Back back to the North City fans' heartthrob, Emmy Buendia. Um, do you think you've got your money's worth for him? To an extent, no, but I don't think that that's his fault. I don't think that's anything to do with his performances. From He had a slow start, but then he found his feet, and when he was confident, he was magnificent. Um, so I don't really blame him for that. I, I mean, I put a bit of a feeler out yesterday, which... It didn't cause controversy, but there was a good share of opinions of where I said, if we had to keep one, you know, take away who's better in terms of longevity, wages, you know, ceiling of, you know, Coutinho's 29, Buendia's a lot younger. Which one would you rather keep? And the majority said Buendia. Really? Wow. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Is, yeah. interesting, interesting. Emmy Buendia. Sad to see him go. Let's move on to... Um, I'm going to drag you through some pain now. I guess a relatively uh, positive result in the end, considering circumstances. A nil-nil draw to to Leicester, who, by the way, for me, are incredibly average. Um, but what have you taken from that performance coming into the game against us on Saturday? Like, are there positives? Are you worried having watched that performance against Leicester? I mean, Leicester this season haven't been great at all. But, you know, it was just your typical nil-nil, nothing to play for, can't be bothered. Probably. Just a bit of a lethargic performance. It wasn't interesting to watch. There wasn't anything, that, you know, considering when we uh, had the Carabao Cup with them, we scored a last-minute winner and, you know, I was six rows down gambling with a nearly bro near broken spine. It <laughs> weren't quite that level of performance, Chris. Do you know what I mean? So, um it wasn't great. And it, I just felt like there was no confidence there. There's no confidence in the team. It just weren't working. Um, I mean, I put a tweet out at halftime saying positives take from the first half. We didn't concede. You know, <laughs> that was all that there was there for me. So a point away at Leicester, yeah, a positive, whatever, you know, when we're going down, depending on who you ask. Saturday for me is a must-win game. Well, yeah, obviously. Why wouldn't it be? You can't lose to us this season, mate. I mean, I don't want to see you go down, but it's going to happen anyway, so it may as well be us. However, it's one of those things we need a tiny bit of confidence, just at least a little bit. We've got Burnley twice. We've got Crystal Palace. We've got you. We've got Liverpool and Man City. I think that's our last six games. Yes, yeah, so Liverpool and Man City. I'm not going to write them off. Like, I, I, it's, such, it's so horrible that... You go into a game against them. Of course, they're better than us. You know, they're both absolutely having a blinding season. But it's just where's that love in football where, you know, you're the underdog and at least fight, not go 1-0 down, your head goes. At least give it some. Like, you think it's hard for you that you might be getting relegated. I'm going to watch Jack Grealish lift the Premier League title against my beloved club, Chris. <laughs> That'll hurt more than relegation. 
surely, surely he won't lift it in front of a Villa fan. Sure. Nah, he, he he wouldn't go up to him. He he does still love Villa. He's he's yeah. nah. He he doesn't. Nah, he, he wouldn't. But they've still got to witness it, and you know, and that's essentially why he left because he wanted to win trophies. So, you know, Time. let's talk about how Norwich can hurt Villa. What have you seen out of your side in recent weeks where you think, oh, that's a problem and it keeps happening? Well, Ashley Young had a great game on against Leicester. I think he was the man of the match for me. Mm-hmm. I don't think you're going to do a lot down the wings. I don't I don't think you're going to cause Matty Cash any problems. I think if you're going to get something, it's going to come through the middle. It'll have to come through the middle. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Luca Dean's injured. So... He's out for the rest of the season, but uh, you know it's rubbish that that's a scenario we're in. But I think if you're going to get something, it's going to be a lofty ball over the top to Puka. That's your only like over the top of Tyro Mings. Well, yeah, yeah, lovely, good. I, 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 I mean, a, a backline press, you know, a Jamie Vardy esque backline caught you slipping. Yeah, I, I think that's your only chance. <sighs> I'm not going to say pressing the back line is the only way, but if you're going to score a goal, it's going to be through the middle. I can't see it coming from the wings. I can't. We're quite good in. We're quite good aerially. Is that right? Is that a word? Aerially, it'll do. I'll take it. It don't sound right, does it? But it in the fun. air, we're, we're 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 quite good. It's just, um, I, I think Rina. I think if you're going to get anything, it's going to be through the middle. But I don't good think you're going to get well. anything at all, Chris. If I'm honest, four nil. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Hang on, don't get your score prediction in just yet, for God's sake. We've That's got... not my score prediction. That's my wind-up prediction, Chris. Oh, I was right. just waiting for a bite. I, was wanted, I wanted a nibble. You'll get. You'll always get a bite out of me, mate. I, I, <laughs> I used to podcast with Jack Reed, for God's sake. And um, right, who is the most informed players for Villa right now? Are there any informed players right now, considering circumstances? I'll be honest with you, Coutinho at home is a different gravy, mate. He's a different gravy at Villa Park. I will be completely honest with you. If you get Pete Coutinho, it is absolute curtains for you, mate. And I, I don't want to break your heart, Chris. But if you if that Coutinho shows up, you're in serious trouble. And you know oh, you're in serious trouble. Because he is at you can see why he's the third most expensive signing of all time. And he plays for my club. <laughs> Wait, I wish I could argue against you, but I can't. I can't argue against you. I can't challenge you. I'm Wendy, actually... you're slide in front of the Norwich no, fans. No. Come on. I'll tell you what, if Emmy celebrates against Norwich, I will be absolutely livid. Very I livid. don't think you will. And I know Emmy will be watching. I know Emmy will be watching this. Um, okay, great. So this season, is it going to be a crap end to the season? Or do you think that you'll march on from, from potentially, potentially beating us this weekend? I mean, before the Leicester game, I think we were only four points off 10th with a, a couple of games. I think yeah. it was four, it was four or six. Um, I'm not, I haven't seen the uh, table since the weekend. I probably should have looked before this. You don't, um, you don't look whilst you're playing rubbish, do you? You just don't bother looking. Well, I, no, I, it's not I'm one of them just, things. Probably just a Norwich fan thing, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is, yeah. But it's just... I, I'm a very optimistic person in everyday life. So... As much as I haven't had much to celebrate being a Villa fan in recent years, and it's been very bipolar, I would like to say that we're closer to 10th than we are to relegation. So why can't you have a bit? I'm aware we're having a bit of a rough patch on the pitch and it ain't working quite well, but the season's nearly over. We're going to spend some dosh. We're going to be just gravy. I just... What is Look, it? if Delia sells a couple of cookbooks, does the best bits, like something like that, you might spend some dosh. You might Ty, come back and, and stick up there. Ty, question for you. What was it like having just an abundance of money? Just having mar- money piled into your club? Like, you don't need to worry ever, do you? It's not just that, though. It's very... <sighs> I'm going to target Newcastle here. And I don't want to do it because I haven't really got a problem with Newcastle. But that's a level of money where I just think it's like, there you go. Whereas if you look in terms of profit and how well we're doing, I can't remember the stat, but we're really high in European football in profit margins. Okay. Like humongous. So financially, we're not just throwing. I know we're spending, but we're actually very, very sensible with money. So no, if you, we have zero debt, 
we're just right. clever. So uh, that ain't really answered your question. The answer to your question, it's really nice, Chris. It is really nice. But now I, I really want to see some marquee signings. I really want to see some marquee signings. Coutinho will be the statement. I reckon he'll be the first one over the line if he's staying. Yeah. I think as soon as that window open, Newcastle are going to come knocking. Here we go. Hello, Mr. Felipe. Yep, yeah, come on. Come to us. We'll pay you half a mil a week. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, he don't want to play under Eddie Howe. And I'd like to think he's a little bit more ambitious than that. But Newcastle, again, gone from one of them teams. I think they had won one in after like 10 games or something like that. Look at them now. They're above us. So, speaking of signings, Ty, sorry to come across yeah. you. You've obviously taken Emmy yeah. off us. So if I had, if you had to sign an Norwich player for Villa in the next window, you had to. Who would it be and why? Oh come on, we're not that crap, are we? Pookie as a backup? <laughs> <laughs> no, fair enough, mate. It's yeah, it's a it's a solid answer, and um, yeah, I guess that is all all you would. Fair enough. Um, great. Well, that's. Absolutely wonderful. Let's let's talk about the last time you sorry, played. I'm sorry. No, 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 it's fine, mate. Do you know what? I'm used to getting abused on these shows now. Um, let's talk about the last result for you against Norwich. It was at Cow Road. It was a. I mean, I, I obviously I was there. I can only describe it as a very comfortable, routine win for for Villa. We were turgid, um, but there was one player that caught my eye, Jacob Ramsey. Um, talk to me about that game at, at Norwich and. And and also Jacob Ramsey. Jacob Ramsey. Now, one thing about Dean Smith you'll never be able to knock is his personal touch with players. His man management is very, very, very good. Mm -hmm. You'll never hear Jack Grealish say a bad word about him. You'll never hear... Jack, I don't think you'll hear Jacob Ramsey say a bad word about him. He got his opportunity through Jacob Ramsey. Um, we're doing a lot through our youth system, and I think a lot of it comes down to good man management, and a lot of it comes down to confidence. You only... To go slightly off topic, you only have to look at a player like Jesse Lingard, who people were saying was absolute rubbish. And then he goes to West Ham, finds a bit of confidence and yeah. looks like a player who can play in a decent level of football. Yeah. Um, Jacob Ramsey's had his opportunity and he's doing very, very well at Villa. Recent runs of form, we're not doing great. There's problems in the middle. He hasn't got the greatest support around him. However, the kid is a real real talent he's the real deal mate yeah. and honest to god if you look at if you go on youtube and have a little look at a compilation Maybe. you don't know if he's left footed or right footed i'm telling you now if you've seen the goals from his left foot absolute wand tight i don't need to look because i saw him at caro he took us to the carpet cleaners he's an absolute player he's an absolute player he uh he really is and and back to that game that that result at caro like i can't remember <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. Crazy. I can't remember that game. I, I genuinely can't remember that game. So I don't want to sit here and try and blag it and say, "Oh yeah, well this happened." I can't remember the game. Well, hey, I'm not asking you to depict the game, but I'm just saying, was it you know just a solid win? I guess that that was all I was I was getting at. Um. So what what performance are you expecting against us at, 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 at Villa Park on Saturday? Is this a score prediction? No. What performance are you expecting from Jacob Ramsey? From Aston Villa against Norwich City this Saturday. War. 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 Not against Norwich, against... I think they're going to go out there with a point to prove. The atmosphere is going to be... I won't say the word hostile because that's a bit territorial. However, the atmosphere ain't great at Villa at the minute. It's not, mate. It's not. So the players, I'd like to think, are going to go out there with a point to prove and really want to show up at home. Because we're on a bad, bad run of form. If there is a time where you could get something from us, it is this game, Chris. Honest to God, you're in no better position to get... I don't think you're going to beat us. However, if there was a time, now is... If there was a time where you could play us to get something from us, it's now, oh, mate. Time. I almost... I, I actually wish it that wasn't the case. Because whenever we've played against the team this season, when they've been in a bad run of form, or they're absolutely shy, or they've got injured players, or they're crap at home or crap away from home, we are the team where it changes. So actually I'd rather you were actually in form. So um thank you. But, but you've got you've got a Dean you've got Dean Smith as well and Dean Smith knows a lot of these players. You've got to remember that as well. So and 
sometimes, you know, hard work beats talent. In, in football, hard work beats talent every time. You know, you only have to look at the magic of the FA Cup to see when you see teams like Kidderminster Harriers taking on West Ham, you know, stuff like that as an example. You see, I remember that, but I can't remember Villa Norwich. <laughs> um, so, you, um, sorry, you go, mate. No, go on. I was just going to say, you, you mentioned Dean Smith and we haven't even, weirdly, we've not even really spoken about him that much. And um, do, do you think that Dino will get us back up again to the Premier League? Because, y- yeah, of course. He's got, he's got the experience, hasn't he? But there's almost like this, the Norwich fans are now thinking, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And uh, it's not my opinion. I think that Dean's definitely, definitely got well, what's the What's the general opinion of Dean Smith across you lot in yellow and grey? Well, I mean, I'm not going to speak on behalf of everyone, but myself is that I think that Dean deserves a lot of time and patience considering the squad that he's been served up, the recruitment's definitely not being good enough. And um, I, I think the ge- I think the general can let us know in the comment section. I think the general consensus is that we want to see Dean Smith be given a chance in the championship with his players, the players that he wants to recruit. Now, when he, he did that with Villa, right? So may, maybe, Ty, give Norwich fans some, some faith. Inject some faith into our arms right now. I think uh, I, this isn't targeted at Norwich, but my problem with modern day football is the patience levels towards managers. Well, we, mate, we're patient. We're the most patient club in the world. No, of course. And you've had a, a manager for a long, long time. However, if that manager isn't getting the backing and you're going up and down every season, you're too good for the championship and you're not good enough for the Premier League. Yeah. So that's where it comes to the owners. And I don't know if you have a director of football or a head of recruitment or yes, something there. But if that money ain't being spent, you're going to always be that yo-yo club. It's one of those things. If you do not invest, you will not stay in the Premier League. Is Dino going to put up with that? Is Dino going to put up with not being given money to spend? Because he's already had know. He's already had the January window where he wasn't given any money to spend. And yeah. I can't see us spending much in, in the summer either, to be honest. Well, it all depends on how many spaghetti bolognese is. Delia smells. <laughs> smells. <laughs> <laughs> smells. Ty, you, you just don't know. Ty, you, you, are never, know. you are When we get up to Premier you're never coming on this channel again. <laughs> are you not allowed to talk about Delia? Is that sacred? <laughs> no, I'm joking, man. I'm joking. Okay. Um, right. Crunch time. The big one. Score prediction. But on the we do it differently. What is your head saying and what is your heart saying? Oh. My head feels a little bit sensible. I'm going to say 3-1. Your head saying 3-1? Yeah, my head, and I think that's sensible. And I genuinely think you're going to take an early lead and then we're going to bop you. That's my general, that's my general opinion. Okay. Uh, my heart, 4-0. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fine. Right. My head is saying, my head is also, do you know what? I agree on both. <laughs> so I, you pulled a face at me for saying those, and then you're like, do you know what? I can't well, argue with that time. Can't argue. Like, may, maybe my heart's saying maybe a maybe a one one, maybe, maybe, but I mean we've we've got to play our socks off and we we're done. I just no, can't, can't see it. Chris, genuinely, I know I've given a lot of positivity there towards Villa, but I have to. I have to. I, someone has to be positive. But genuinely, if there is a time, I know you say, the, oh, well, if there's a team who are playing rubbish, you know, <laughs> their turn of form's always against us. Yeah. I promise you now, there is no better time to play us than that. No better time. So if you're going to get something, Chris... I'm not saying you are. You probably won't. But if there is, <laughs> it's now, mate. It's now. Ty, thank you so much for coming on and, and giving Norwich City fans some faith that we might get something out of this game on Saturday, mate. I really appreciate it. I like you, bunch. So I, I, I'll come on here anytime, mate. Anytime at all. Thank you for having me. And if I don't see you next season, which I won't, I'll see you the season after. <laughs> Cheers, so let, 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 let's schedule a pod in for... <laughs> I, I, April 24, yeah? April 24. Uh, do you know what the mad it's thing scheduled. is? is it, it, it probably will happen. Thank you so much, Ty. And thank you so much to all of you guys for watching. As always, do hit that subscribe button. If you've enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and get involved in the conversation on social media. We are at Talk Norwich City. And why not? I'll share all of your uh, all of your good will and gestures and support. 
um, because I'm in a good mood today and I need a lift. Share your positivity. Thank you so much for watching and fingers crossed the next time I speak to you lovely lot will be after we get a massive win at Villa Park on the Ball City. Dino, Dino.